Right now we are just outside of the Forbidden City. This complex was constructed back in 1406 and it was completed in 1420. Now you may be asking yourself, how was this huge facility built in just 16 years? There were over a million workers that were employed to build this complex. China has lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> the Forbidden City was home to various emperors, 24 to be exact. It was home to the Ming Dynasty from 1406 until 1644 when the Qing Dynasty took over and they ruled here until 1912. It is a piece of quintessential history here in China and many Chinese people consider this almost like a holy site here in Beijing. So it's like a Chinese castle. Yeah, it is actually the largest ancient preserved palace here in China. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. Right now we're on top of the Meridian Gate, which is the front door of the Forbidden City. This is one of the corner buildings of the Forbidden City. It's really cool because they used very minimal nails to hold it together. It's held together kind of like origami. It's all interlocking. Kind of like Legos or something. Yeah! You would think in a place that's almost entirely made of wood that a fire would be devastating to this place. Well, that's actually why they kept these giant vats of water here. So if there was a fire, they could put it out. Chinese people really like lions, but they don't look like regular lions. They, they're kind of like a mythological take on the lions that we know. And a lot of times they guard doors and gates. There is usually a male lion with a ball under one of the paws, and then the other one is a female lion with a little baby lion under her paw. It's pretty cute. <laughs> This is the Gate of Supreme Harmony. It's where the Emperor had his morning reports with his council. This is Hougong, the back of the palace, and it's said that the real politics happened within these walls. The Emperor had as many as 72 wives at a time, and ideally, each one of these wives would bear a son because only male heirs had the chance to become Emperor. Do you yeah, want 72 you wives? I don't think I could handle 72 wives. Yeah. I'm pretty hard to handle. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> so of course, all of these wives would conspire against each other to get their sons the best chance of becoming emperor. So there were a lot of poisoning, a lot of forced suicides, and a lot of murders. There is a gazebo up at the very top of the mountain where you can see all of the Forbidden City. Nice they are nice, but they keep going on and on and on. We're almost there guys, almost there. So after quite a few steps, we made our way to the top of Jingshan, also known as the mountain with a view. And, <laughs> and let me tell you, there is a view. It is quite a view. You overlook the entire Forbidden City and right now it's, it's sunset and it just looks pretty beautiful from up top here. It only costs two yuan per person to get up here, which really only is about 25 cents and it is well worth the view. Yeah, and on a good day, you can see all the way to Tiananmen Square. But guys, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed checking out the Forbidden City with me and Kathy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, safe travels, and as always, we'll catch you next time. Bye! Bye!